The following video describes the installation of Sika Floor Joint S Floor Panels. Please refer to the printed method statement for complete step-by-step -step instructions. Make sure to follow all health and safety recommendations, review product limitations, cleanup and waste disposal recommendations, and legal notes found in sections 6, 7, 8, and 9. Sika Floor Joint S is a prefabricated carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite panel with a wave joint design achieving improved load distribution. For use in both new construction and refurbishment of joints, this video will show the Sika Floor Joint S repairing the joint in a heavily used manufacturing area. Prepare the substrate as described in the method statement Evaluation and Preparation of Surfaces for Flooring Systems. To mark the floor for the saw cuts, set the position of the panel on the floor. Mark the length adding a surplus of 5 mm at the beginning and at the end of the panel, 10 mm in total. Mark the width, adding a surplus of 5 mm at the left side and the right side of the panel, each 130 mm from the center of the joint, 260 mm in total. Mark the saw cuts at 25 to 38 mm using a chalk line or a permanent marker. To cut the joints, diamond cutting equipment must be used. If you are dry cutting, Use a vacuum cleaner to reduce dust and dirt. If you are wet cutting, remove water out of the saw cuts as soon as possible. The joint cutter must be set to a depth of 2.5 centimeters. Please note, continuously control the abrasion of the diamond cutting disc. Readjust the disc to ensure the 2.5 centimeter depth of the incision remains unchanged throughout all the cuts. After cutting the incisions, chisel out the concrete using a demolition hammer. Remember, the depth of the cut must be about 2.5 centimeters in all areas. Be careful not to damage the outer edges of the adjacent or existing concrete when you are chiseling out the cuts. If there are built-in metal profiles, remove them using an angle grinder or cutting torch, being careful not to produce sparks, which are a fire hazard. As with the rest of the cut, the depth of the metal profiles must be about 2.5 centimeters in all areas. Once the area is cut out, use a brush and or vacuum to completely remove all dust, loose and friable material from all surfaces before application of the Secador adhesive. The substrate must also be clean, dry and free of all contaminants such as dirt, oil, grease, coatings and surface treatments. Dry fit the panels into the newly cut area. If required, cut the panels to the correct size using a concrete saw. Once all the parts are placed and fit correctly, remove and prepare the joint. In order to allow movement between the two plates of the joint panel, screed edge stripping must be placed in the joint. Place screed edge stripping in an axial position in the joint, adjusting the height of the stripping using an adjustable trowel. Mix the adhesive according to the Secador data product sheet. For an even distribution of the adhesive in the cutout, use an adjustable trowel set at 20 millimeters. To allow movement of the joint after the installation, it is mandatory that both sides of the panel are separated. For proper separation, tape is fixed on the bottom side of the panel. Do not remove it. In order to avoid entrapped air, the adhesive also has to be applied on the bottom of the panel using a toothed trowel. Install the joint panel into the fresh adhesive bed. Press or pound on the panel in order to ensure that the profile is in contact with all the adhesives. Please be ensured that no voids occur under the joint panel. Using a taping knife or trowel, seal the edges so that no voids remain. The joints must be free of cavities. Remove as much as possible of the adhesive in order to reduce the need for grinding. The adhesive must be fully cured before the grinding is started. With the help of a diamond disc grinder, make a seamless transition between the two bottom plates. Work with large circular movements in order to avoid grinding marks or holes. Using a spirit level, regularly check and control the evenness of the seams. After grinding, coat the panel surface using a transparent or pigmented floor coating such as Sikafloor 304W or Sikafloor 264. Clean the coating from the S-curve joint, ensuring not to damage the joint sealant. Your newly installed Sikafloor Joint S will provide a strong and stable joint area that will withstand up to medium heavy wear.